Wake up, wake up. You've been sleeping for 1,000 years. It's time to wake up. Outside, it's no longer what you're used to. Everything has changed because you've been sleeping for 1,000 years. The world has passed for a thousand years without us, so it's gonna be very different. From nature to trees, animals, rivers, they all changed. In today's video, we're gonna find out if we all go to sleep for 1,000 years, what will happen? You guys already know the climate situation. It's getting warmer, the water levels are rising, lakes are drying out, and a lot of different places are becoming uninhabitable. What should we do so our world doesn't turn into this? You might not believe it, but the best thing us humans could do is nothing. We shouldn't sit back and watch but we should sleep so the planet could breathe a little. We all know that if humans aren't here, the creatures and Earth are gonna have a better time. But this we don't know is that after 1000 years, are we actually gonna wake up? There's more than 300 dead people in Russia and US that are being kept in frozen chambers and they're hoping for a day so they could be brought back to life. You guys know the theory that a human could be frozen and they could stay alive. And if the technology is available, you could bring that body back to life. But we don't know how a human could die, get frozen, and we could bring that brain back to life. It seems kind of unbelievable. How can we return consciousness to a dead brain? Let's just say we reach that technology and we want to make 8 billion people go to sleep for a thousand years. Thousand years is not a short time. We have to plan something out that if we're in danger in any way, we don't go extinct. No earthquake, no flood, or other natural disasters. We already reached a problem, and that 100% of us cannot go to sleep. There has to be a small percentage that is awake, and they're looking out for us. They should basically be a lookout so everything is working good. The ones that stay awake should have babies and keep the generations going for a thousand years. So 99.9% .9 of the population is sleeping. What is gonna happen? Scientists say after we're gone, Earth's temperature is gonna continue to rise for 40 more years. Without humans, most of the structures we've built will begin to fall. Bridges, buildings, they will all continue to fall because there is no more humans to perform maintenance on them. After 100 years, buildings with steel beams will fall. Asphalts will quickly begin to crack and greens will start to grow out of them. The more cracks that are created in the asphalt and the more greens that grow, the more animals will be found in cities. In this situation, their animals are having a good time. They no longer have to run away from humans and Earth will kinda get back to the point where humans were not there, or at least they weren't civilized. The Earth will continue to make buildings and structures fall, and in its place, greens will start to rise. So when we wake up after 1,000 years, we're confronted with a whole new world. A more beautiful and green planet, cleaner air, cleaner water, and old destroyed buildings. We went to sleep so the planet could breathe, but in return, it destroyed everything we ever built.
So what do we have to do so the earth doesn't turn out the way we were afraid of? We have to start from the beginning. We have no factories, we have no roadways, we have no computers, and we basically have nothing. But there is a danger in our way. In situations like this, humans turn wild. They will all create a cult and start fighting with one another. Over food, over fruits and vegetables, and over fresh water. World War humans will begin, but there's no advanced weapons. But if they don't start a war and actually work together, they could build a very futuristic foundation that will be a lot for themselves and the planet. But it's not that easy. The CO2 we created is gonna be here for a very long time, and a thousand years is not enough to clean that up. Worse than that is plastic. The plastics we threw away are gonna be a pile of garbage everywhere. In the ground, on the ground, in the sea, in the rivers, everywhere. Scientists say for a plastic water bottle to decompose, it takes 450 years. And that turns it into powder, not dirt. It basically turns into plastic powder. If you want that powder of plastic to decompose, it will take millions of years. This is supposed to be a fun video. I don't want to depress you guys. But we have to say that each year, we add 14 million kilograms of plastic to the oceans. This was a stupid idea, right? What do you mean sleep for a thousand years? We can't fix anything with sleeping. Instead of creating a technology that allows us to sleep for a thousand years, let's create a technology that doesn't let us destroy the planet. Even though the pollution is a huge problem, but we are on our way to fixing it. And day by day, the environment is cleaning up. Cars are becoming electric. Different factories are causing less pollution than ever. So we can be hopeful that we're not going to destroy Earth. But that's if everybody wants to. 